Since this week is 4th of July, I decided that I would do something with a bit of a patriotic theme. And since this piece has been sitting in my garage for probably about six months and I have no idea what I was going to do with it, this is going to be the piece we do it on. As you can probably tell, I have already started on this piece. I've taken the knobs off and I cleaned it and repaired a couple damages. And I did that last night when it was nice and cool. And now it's ready to be scuff sanded and primed to prepare for my paint. Part of the reason this dresser has been sitting in my stash for so long is that I've just had a hard time imagining what it could be. With those really chunky design pieces on the top side, it really is kind of a top heavy piece. And to add to that, some of the drawer guides are also broken, which made me really unhappy because I specifically asked if the drawers were all working properly and she assured me that nothing was broken on it. I think I put it in the back of my shop because I was partly grumpy at it and partly unsure of what to do with it. I'll be scuff sanding over the entire piece with 220 grit sandpaper using my orbital sander on the flat parts, giving special attention to the top and using my hands on the curved portions. After getting everything wiped down to remove all the sanding dust, I'm ready to use my primer. I'm going to be using Kills Restoration Primer. It's water-based, so super easy to clean out of my gun, and it'll help block any bleed through that may occur. I'm gonna give it two coats over the entire piece because after one coat, I did notice a couple areas where I was getting some bleed through warnings showing through. So the paint color I'm using today is actually a blend of two, and it's not exactly that the, the color I wanted was directly in the middle. It was more that I didn't have enough of either colors to finish the project, so I figured by mixing them, then I would have a better chance of not running out. And they're both from Junk Monkey Paint, and one is Liberty Blue, and the other is Midnight Blue. So right in the middle turned out to be a gorgeous color anyway, so I'm happy with it. Yeah, I saw that chunk too. I definitely should have strained this paint and I was telling myself that even as I was pouring it, but I didn't take the time to go grab a strainer and I paid for it. This is about as far as I got before a giant chunk of paint clogged up my filter in my gun and I had to take it apart and clean it and then start over with a filter this time. Especially since I mixed these two paints and were scraping the bottom of the containers, I definitely should have just filtered it to begin with. So let's go ahead and talk about what I'm going to do with the drawer. That's going to be kind of my design element. And at first I painted the edges with the same blue and the very top panels with white. Then after taping those portions off and taping some stripes onto the fronts of the door, I added in some red. Once I peeled the tape back, I realized I didn't do the best job in the world of taping it apparently, and I had to go over some of the areas again with a little touch-up brush, but that's okay. I'm going to be giving everything two to three coats of this water-based polyurethane by Verithane to give my paint a good durable finish. I did the first coat on the drawer by hand, but I will be adding it to the rest of the dresser to spray the second coat on. I just drove over to Hobby Lobby to get these knobs for the dresser. It has four holes on the front where knobs go, and I was thinking these would be perfect to kind of set off that patriotic feel, only I got there and uh, they had a sign on the door that said closed for technical difficulties. I don't know what that means or when they're gonna be open again, but they have definitely failed me and I am not happy with them at all. 
Now you'll recognize these handles off the piece. They are the original handles to the piece and they generally are called bat wing handles in the flipper community and we generally replace them. But since we're going with a patriotic theme, I'm going to go with the thought that they kind of remind me of an eagle's wings, maybe? My husband actually drove all the way over to the next Hobby Lobby for me to get me some of these star knobs. And not only that, he also filmed these ending shots for you because I was feeling ill. Thank you, Andrew, for all the help that you are to me on a daily basis. And also a big thank you to all of you for coming and watching today. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button and leaving a comment below, I would really appreciate it. I respond to all the comments as soon as I see them, and I look forward to talking with you. Until next time, I'm Sarah with our furniture flipping adventure. Goodbye for now.